Hey guys, welcome to Friday Night Magic! And this week's gameplay was voted on Twitter. It is Blue Black Grave Titan. So that's our opening hand. We're definitely be mulliganing that. And it doesn't look like we're getting a very good opening second hand either. So we are after mulligan, unfortunately, down to five. And we'll have to keep. We'll have to keep. There's a mana leak. We'll put that on top. And we shall lead off with... Oh, we'll have to lead off with that. I really wanted to keep Mana Leak, so I played that a little bit wrong, maybe. <laughs> Never mind. So as you can see from the new graphics on the screen, the... There it is. The deck list is below now. So I hope you all like that. I was just trying to find out where it was. I was looking at my side screen as I was recording. So this is a blue black Grave Titan. It's like a control deck with Grave Titan as a nice little finisher. We run Jace Architect of Thought and a few other nice cards, Snapcasters as well. Look as if I then put them back in any order. Well, Index. I haven't seen that card before. So. See what our opponent's playing. Index. Look at the top five cards of library. Put them back in any order. Crazy art on that M13 card. So we're going to draw our Mana Leak and we can go and play our Flooded Strand. Do, do, do. Still have no clue what we're playing at the moment. So there's that. We will then yield to end of turn. Pass the turn. We just know our opponent is on a blue at the moment. So we have a Mana Leak, a couple of Damnations, Fatal Push. There is a Celestial Colonnade. Okay, so there's a Delver of Secrets, which we will Mana Leak. Um, what, should we what should we get? What should we get? Uh, Watery Grave, yes. And... Well, we can Mana Leak, or we could actually Fatal Push it, actually. Um, I think we're just Fatal Push. Keep up the Mana Leak for maybe the next spell. And pass this over to us. What do we get? Well, we get a Snap, but we need that other land. We do run, I think it's 25, 26 lands, I think it is. If you want to see a deck tech for this video, put it in the comments below on the video. And at the end of the video as well, if you want to see more gameplay, you just have to let me know. It could feature maybe on another one of these. Friday Night Magic videos. Oh, Jace Architect of Thought. We're not hitting the lands. We are not hitting the lands at the moment. Is the opponent going to do anything at the end of our turn? Let's wait and see. Raise the alarm. Hmm... Okay. I wasn't expecting raise the alarm, I must admit. We'll let that one go. Mana Leak's getting gradually worse, but I was worried that they might be able to play something a lot better than a couple of tokens. Saying that the tokens are probably killers. <laughs> so, anything else? That's right. Here's something that we can potentially Mana Leak. Oh, no. Untapping. Here we go. What can we mana leak? Potentially. Ooh, so Ink Fathom Witch has fear. Each unblocked creature has a base parent of his 4 1 to end of turn. Okay, so we will be mana leaking that one. Attempting to mana leak, shall I say. We really do need to draw this land. Ooh, polluted delta. That's helped us a little bit. So we can snap push if we want. Obviously, depending on what goes down, and of course we can fetch with the uh, polluted delta, which will make this four or less. So we'll let these attack in. Okay. Anything else from our opponent? 
like to see him play something else. Ba -ba -ba, what you gonna play? So I do really do like this blue-black deck. It's a little bit different. It's not usually the type of blue-black deck I'd run. Um, in card form, I'd probably put lilies in and stuff like that. But it runs. This is how the deck is meant to run like this. It's not meant to have lilies in there. Um, that's pretty sweet. Okay, Brimaz. So we shall go and fetch for a. What do you want to get? We want to get the swamp. Um, flash in the Snapcaster Mage. And then we will attempt a Fatal Push. The Brimaz away. Okay. And we shall try and Fatal Push the Brimaz. Does our opponent have any kind of counter spell? No, so that was good for us. Spreading seas. Well, we'll play it because it helps us draw a card. We'll do it on the Celestial Colonnade. We don't want that beating us down. Draw a card, be a land. Oh, it's a land. Drown us, drown catacombs. Could attack in. We could attack in. Let's attack in. Attack in for two. Get our opponent to 17. So, we've got a damnation next turn that we can play. We've also obviously got Jace. We can newt those tokens with Jace. Uh, give them minus one, minus not until they attack to end of turn. So we can newt them for a bit if we want to. Depending on what opponent plays. If he plays another load of tokens, we can still possibly Jace. He plays them bigger. We will just probably damnation and then play Jace next turn. That's what we will do. Obviously some kind of Esper token deck. With some nice colonnades in. Brimaz is a very nice card, Brimaz. Can't let that really go unchecked. Nope. Okay, opponent's deciding what to do. Back and forward, back and forward. Okay, anything else? No. Okay, so we'll play Jason. Oh, our third damnation. Jeez. Um, let's cancel first. Um, let's attack him. Attack with the snap. Now we will play Jace. Hopefully he doesn't meet a counter spell. Come on, Jace. We've definitely got enough wrath around. Look at those beautiful, beautiful damnations. So we're plus that. Makes those tokens at the moment a bit null and void, which is okay for us. We've got three damnations. Three damnations. Against this Esper tokens list. So it's the first time for me seeing that Murphile Wizard before. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it. Each unblocked creature has base power, toughness, and force. So it's great. You put the creatures in, 1-1s, one -ones, and then you attack, and they're actually 4-1s by playing 4. That's really sweet. What is our opponent playing here? There is another Ink Fathom Witch. Okay, and they have the mana, so that's a bit nightmare. That's the worst one we wanted to see. Um, so Jace is definitely dead. They could, we could, they could actually kill us if they've got any sort of pump spell. So we'd definitely be wrath and a god if we survive. No, they're both going to Jace. Okay. Didn't fancy putting us to two. So, you know, we could have done the minus two reveal, but with the tokens being as they were, I think it was the better play to uh, try and mute them that way. Obviously not knowing that another Ink Fathom Witch would come down. P 
opponent did not. Are they, blo are they doing it now? I'm just going to say it. I thought we got away of it there. <laughs> I thought we got away of it. <laughs> but no, Jace is gone. So, damnation will certainly come down now. We're trying to get. There's a creeping tar pit. That's nice. Uh, we're we'll trying to get a free attack in. Which I think we'll probably get. Opponent won't be thinking of blocking with the Fathom Witch. Okay, that's cool. And then we will. Damnation! Our first damnation of three. Four in the deck. So hopefully we can do a bit of work now with uh, Creeping Tar Pit. There's no other Celestial Colonnade over there. It'd be nice if we could draw, you know, get some card draw, maybe some Think Twices, something like that. Sickle Pest. Okay, that is a pest. Drowned Catacomb. Turn the Tar Pit into a creature that can't be blocked. Okay, and we will attack for three. With our Tar Pit. Opponents down to 10, same as us. So, Sickle Pest uh, can't be blocked unless creatures with flying or reach has Battle Cry. Normally seen in some sort of affinity decks, normally. Eldrazi. Okay, Eldrazi Sky Spawn. So, that's going to come in and make a colorless token. Um, so we'll probably use our next Wrath again here. That attacks in. Nope. Okay. What do we draw? A Fetid Pool. So if we play the Fetid Pools, we still can't... I think we're better off using the Wrath. Damnation. Then we can draw a card with Fetid Pools as well. So this is where Fetid Pools is good, sort of later game, where it's, you know, not like a Watery Grave. We can actually draw a card off it, whereas if we draw an extra Watery Grave, it wouldn't have been quite so good. Lingering Souls. That's a bit of a pain. We shall draw a card. Grave Titan, please. Serum Visions. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, Fatal Push is okay as well. So with Serum Vision, draw a card. Which is... Damnation again. Uh, we don't... Tectonic Edge may if they draw enough Celestial Colony, but... Um, I don't think we really... You know, We're not going to be winning the games with them. Um, we could Damnation... But I don't think we will at the moment. We won't damnation. Wait to see what opponent plays. Opponent might play a creature, then bring back the um, more spirits. <clears throat> Any shenanigans with pumping, we can also we you know we can fatal push. So I think actually with fatal push one, hopefully to get to activate the other lingering souls. Take the one. Take one. Going to activate the other Lingering Souls, hopefully. Yep. Cool. Okay. Any more creatures would be nice for our next Damnation. No. Okay. Fetid Pools. Damnation. Destroy all creatures. Those extra down there. Drawing those three Damnations has certainly helped us, that's for sure. We've still got one more to find. <laughs> we can uh, cycle the Fetid Pools. Draw another card. Delver Secrets. Okay. Did opponent hold anything else back? No. So still one card in hand. Cycle our next Fetid Pools. Draw a card. We get a Think Twice, which is okay. Uh, Island. 
let's attack with this first. Attack here, get our opponent to seven. Potentially seven, of course. There we go. So opponent goes down to seven. Does the Delva flip? Let's see. Does our opponent reveal something? Reveals a zealous persecution. So it does flip. Okay. So we're going to take a minimum three here. Wrath might be expensive to... Um, get rid of that insect over there but we might have to do it down to six is a very tight game so we will think twice draw a card polluted delta okay not really what we wanted and a second polluted delta is certainly not what we wanted um, We shall damnation again. Go and fetch. Go to five. Hopefully put our opponent to four. Wait for our opponent to think about what he's doing. And that was enough to win the match. Well, the Esper Tokens did not like that next damnation. So, we've taken down Esper Tokens. Let's go on to the second match. So, on to our second game here. The hand doesn't seem too bad, so I think we'll keep that. We've got Drown Catacomb. Uh, we can play the Swamp turn one. Potentially, and then the into Drown Catacomb. Prism Ring. Just notice our opponent has 103 cards. What the hell are we playing? What are we playing? We shall yield till end of turn. Double blue coming down is an Ethram Sculptor. Okay, out of a spells cost less. Um, and look what we've got. Destroy target non-artifact creature. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> so we could... Um, Use a dismember, but we won't use it just yet. Can't believe we've um, planned an artifact deck. We've got our one go for, go for the throat in there. Go for the throat shouldn't even be in my main board, I don't think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it shouldn't be, but it's definitely in there. It's not on the side list, that's for sure. Okay. Um... One second. Let's do this right. Bam. There we go. Dismembered. Or is it going to meet a counter spell? It meets a mana leak. Okay. We shall not play the three. Um, polluted Delta. And yield to end of turn. There we go. We're going to fetch with a polluted delta. Go and get ourselves our watery grave. No, we don't want to pay that. Okay. Flooded strand. Past turn. Building up to the Grave Titan. Still have no clue what we're playing against in this game. Opponent still stuck on stuck on lands with 99 cards in his library. Uh, we're going to get one out. Okay. And we put a swamp. So 
So next time we can play Grave Titan. Really want to try and send this back to our opponent's hand because I want to try and if he's got a count spell, I want to try and force it out if I can. Um, return permanent to return permanent's hand. Draw a card. Try and force the counter spell out, if not get him to replay that card. Just so we can get down Grave Titan next turn. So the Cryptic could be a sacrificial card here. If not, we get to bounce and draw a card. Here we go, there we go. Dissipate, that's what we wanted. Okay, count spells out. And now comes down Grave Titan. They fell for our plan. They fell for our plan. Now that's some power on board now. 6-6 six, six with Death Touch. Two zombies. When they attack, we're going to get him with the Grave Titan. Waiting for our opponent. Our opponent's called Ugg Ugg. Pretty cool name. Okay, so they're going to do a 2 damage to target creature. Okay. So they can potentially kill one of our zombies. Ooh, nice reverse engineer. Okay. Does leave him a bit open, though. Does leave him a bit open. Certainly does leave him open. So... We're attacking with the team. Get the trigger. Two more. And we shall play Jace. Um, ba -ba -ba -bam. Reveal the top three. Think twice, Mana Leak and Serum Visions. See how our opponent splits these up. Okay, so we'll take pile one, and we shall pass the turn. So I don't know what this deck is playing. We are playing in tournament practice here. Tournament practice with a, against a hundred card plus deck. Very well. There is a word for it. I'm saying that about a deck earlier. Okay, game life. Yeah, we're not worried about that. And uh, when I was playing on stream this week, and then they, it was a real janky deck, and they would have beat us. I was like, no! And everyone in the stream chat was slating the deck, and we were like, and then it just come back and beat us. It was unbelievable. And it actually turned into a really, really good deck. But, Grave Titan is definitely going to prove a problem for our opponent here. Um, we will mana leak that one. Mana leak there. No orbs of warding. And that was enough to win the game. So go to cyborg here. How do we really cyborg against this deck? I mean, we can bring in a couple of negates. Um, definitely take out... Uh, where is it? Go for the throat. Spreading Seas. Seems, he seems to be all... I mean, Spreading Seas is alright for drawing cards. But not great. Um, what else should we bring in? Maybe bring in some Inquisition of Kozilax. Drop the spell snare. So here we go for our second game. We are one that up. So actually, opponent has 112 cards in his deck. So if you've got think of anything that'd be good in this deck, don't forget to leave that in the comments as well. And if you want to see more gameplay from this, just, just leave it in the comments as well so I can put it on another maybe Friday Night Magic series. I hope all of you are having a great time at your FNMs tonight and watch this hopefully when you get in. What is our opponent doing? Come on! So, opening hand looks good. Keep. We shall yield to end of turn. There is that turn one prism. It's pretty good drawing that straight away. 
Um, we shall play. Mm, now I've done that, I've got to go. I probably should have played Island first. Uh, we'll take a bit of uh, life here. We go and get our watery grave. Watery grave, come on. Then we can play Serum Visions. Two tech on tectonic edges is not great. We do run four though. Right, so watery grave. Yes. Okay, Serum Visions. What do we draw? Well, we don't want Tectonic Edge. Um, fatal Push. Um, no, I don't want that either. Okay, Yield. Ne nearly kept Fatal Push. Don't think it was quite worth it. Creeping Tarpid. Nice, okay. The Unblockable Manland. Really good card, Creeping Tarpid. So we've got Mana Leak here, we've got Think Twice. His opponent doing nothing. Okay, we're cast. Attempt to cast Think Twice. Try and draw a card, which we do. It gets Cryptic Command. So now we shall play Creeping Tarpit and pass the turn. Quick spy, eh? Quick spy! We will a mana leak that. No shenanigans with the quick spy with the artifacts. Punish still gains a life though. Right, so in can come a tech edge. And pass the turn. So we've got cryptic cryptic command available. We can also flashback think twice if we need, if opponent does nothing. Reverse Engineer, so we will counter target spell, draw a card. We draw another Tectonic Edge, okay. Uh, we'll play our Polluted Delta. Pass turn. We can start killing our opponent's lands. We've got these Tectonic Edges here. Maybe we should start doing that in a bit. Smuggler's Copter, interesting. Okay. Forgetting they're non basics, aren't they? Can't do that. Smuggler's Copter's interesting. Right, let's do our think twice. Hold on, let's fetch first. Go and fetch first. Thin that deck down a little bit. Guess that's an island. Now we will cast thing twice. Cast with flashback, draw a card, and then we're cycle here as well. Draw another card. Okay. And play that. I think we should attack in. Yeah, let's attack in. Attack him with the creeping car pit. We've still got dismember. We can do anything with you know if the smuggler's copter comes in. Attack in there. Their opponent down to nineteen. Right. So this mono blue artifact deck. The opponent does nothing. Okay. Um, another tectonic edge. Jeez, we're drawing all of them. Turn that into another creature, shall we? We might as well. And attack in again with Tar. Opponent down to sixteen. Anything yet from our opponents? Anything? Oh, you have hex, but if we do all damage, we prevent one of that damage. Okay. Nothing we can do there. Go and fetch for our fetid pools, I think. Okay. 
play another one of them. Attacking with Tar again. The Tar beatdown. Creeping Tar Pit doing the work. Slowly but surely. All we've drawn so far is tectonic edges. Right, Ether Flux Reservoir. Yeah, we'll be mana leaking that one. None of those shenanigans going on, drawing the life. Cryptic Command. Looks like opponent skipped through, so it looks like we're safe to attack in with the tar. We have Cryptic Mana available, we have Hero's Downfall Mana available. Ethereum. Hey. Yeah, we'll let that one go. We'll let that one go. Crew the copter. Cruise the copter. Dismember the copter. Copters like Crew 1, really good. No can't spell there. That was good for us. Play another Tech Edge. And yeah, I think we're Inquisition first. Oh, we can't. Can't target them, can we? Can't target them. I forgot about that. So let's creep into our pit again. Forgot about that orb over there. Orbs are warned in. Opponent down to 10. Okay, so we could bounce that if we want. We could bounce the orbs. Cryptic command is ready. Imprison the moon, eh? Imprison the moon. Um, counter target spell. Draw a card. Okay, we get a fatal push. Lovely. Fail push that over there. Swamp. Attack in with the tar pit. Eventually getting our opponent down. Come on, we're getting there. Damnation heroes downfalls there. We can't target our opponent what is opponent playing there we can heroes down for any creature oh there's another ether flux reservoir right the life gain is real now come on jace architect of thought lovely right activate tar pit attacking get our opponent to seven then we will play jace Jace Architect comes down. Have they got a counter spell? Have they got a negate? Mana Leak's fine for us. That's good. We will reveal the top three cards. Grieve Titan is what we will certainly be taking. Yep. Grieve Titan. We found our Titan. We found our Titan. So we can attack him. We'll put the grave down. Get two more. It's looking pretty good at the moment. They could have a count spell for it. Um, fatal push. So we will... Yep. Just making sure I've got enough mana. <laughs> attack with the tar. Um, I'm actually going to kill Jace off now. Uh, Serum Visions? Okay, there's another Grave Titan there, so we'll probably take the other Grave Titan. Just in case they counter this one. So we have a second Grave Titan. 
Mana leak. We could meet into a mana leak with one land short. Oh, we're not. We got away with it. So potentially this is the game. And we could go unbeaten in our FNM night. Come on. Taking down Abzan tokens and possibly mono blue artifacts. Deck seems strong. I'm, I'm enjoying playing this deck. I must admit, I really am. Engulf the shores. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. We were talking about Engulf the Shores earlier. Mindstone. Okay. Right. Play Tar. One, two, three, four, five. Six for another Grave Titan. There we go. Could have done with some of our counter magic. We don't run a great deal. We've got four mana leads, a couple of cryptics. But at the moment, we're just one attack away. Unless they've got another engulf the shores. We're not going to play, obviously, with the other Grave Titan. The Phantasmal Image. Okay. Ooh. That is pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. Comes in as Grave Titan. That is absolutely brilliant. Now, can we target... Can we target that? I'm not sure. Can we target... Uh, when this creature comes to target of a spell or ability... Mm. Yes, we can. That's it. So it only has to become a target. The opponent could counter. They still get their two zombies, though. Okay. So we will kill one. Uh, creeping tar pit into a creature and pray there's not another engulf the shores get two more zombies hopefully the opponent oh what they got there on 210 target creature loses all abilities oh oh that's dirty that's dirty. <laughs> That's dirty. Tokens still come down, though. Shame we haven't got the mana to... Um, do anything about it. I haven't got the mana for that. It's a bit annoying. Opponent still goes down to nine, though. And we, we do have another Grave Titan in hand as well. But the name's definitely gone interesting. We think we're just going to overrun it, but it, it hasn't happened at the moment. I do say at the moment. Hopefully at the moment. Prism Ring. We might have to hero down for the zombie token. Oh, Padim, Padim. Opponent's getting back up in life again. Okay. So, what do we draw? Drown Catacomb. That's sweet. Right. Heroes down for one of that. Heroes down for there. Attack him with all the zombies. Opponent goes down to 10, and then we'll play a Grave Titan. Grave Titan. Get some more zombies. Opponent down to 10. We just hopefully need one more Alpha Strike. Come on. 
How much more could this blue dick bounce and do everything to us? Right, snap caster. Well, that's good for us because we can snap cryptic. We can do something. We won't attack with a creeping target, I don't think. We're just attacking. See what we can do. We got snap and anything available to us. They block the Grave Titan. Potentially take 12. Is this the game? Is it the game? They've got something. Um. Do, 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 do. So we will snap, cast a mage. And that was Snapcaster Mage was enough to win the game. So guys, we've gone undefeated tonight in our FNM series gameplay video with the blue black Titan contra Grave Titan. I'm just going to say controller. It is a bit controly though. Um, please give the video a thumbs up. I hope you really enjoyed the gameplay tonight. If you want to see a deck tip more gameplay, let me know in the comments below. So we've taken down Abzan Tokens and a very, very strange mono blue artifact control sort of deck. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. Like I say, it really does help. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.